Last week, OpenAI released a new piece of technology that's absolutely amazing. If you thought GPT-3 was interesting, DALI-2 is going to blow your mind. This new technology is based on a lot of the one-shot work that was done in GPT-3, but it's applied to images. This technology is absolutely mind-blowing. Let me show you some of the things that it can do. Now, just by giving DALI-2 a piece of text, it can generate new images, new concepts, new visualizations, in many cases, just as good or sometimes convincingly better than an artist. It's absolutely breathtaking. Let me show you some examples. So the prompt for this was a raccoon wearing a hoodie, working on his laptop late into the night. If you like raccoons, here's one where a raccoon astronaut with a cosmos reflecting into the glass of his helmet, dreaming of the stars. Not only is Dolly 2 creating single images, it can actually create variations of images as well, giving you a lot to potentially look from and choose from. Here's paintings of the American Gothic with two dogs holding pepperoni pizza instead of farmers holding pitchforks. Here's a robot hand drawn by Dolly. An elephant tea party on a grass lawn. I asked Greg Brockman, the chairman and CTO of OpenAI, to do one for me. I asked for a cat sipping tea and posting to Twitter while sitting on a couch. Pretty convincing. Here's a kid and a dog staring at the stars. A rabbit detective sitting on a park bench, reading a newspaper in a Victorian setting. Dolly 2 also has a technology called in-painting, where you can take a piece of an image, remove it, tell it what you want in that missing spot, and it'll generate the missing piece for you. It's like Photoshop, but without any of the skills. Dolly first came out in 2021, and the first version of Dolly was able to generate images, but over the years, it's gotten significantly better. Similar to GPT-3, the technology requires a waitlist, so you can bet I'm on the waitlist. We'll see how long it takes to get off the waitlist, but the technology is truly amazing. If you want to follow the Dolly project on Instagram, they have their own account where they're posting some of their more creative versions of the art that's being generated. A lot of the original work for Dolly came from their paper in 2021, where they really dove into how you could use generative pre-training on images, not just text. The original GPT-3 was generating and predicting text outputs, and they figured out that you could apply the same technology to images as well. They have a separate technology that they wrote an entire paper on called CLIP, and CLIP is what they call contrastive language image pre-training. Again, a lot of this is really how do you take text and apply it to an image? And one of the innovations of both GPT-3 and DALI-2 is that they're working on hundreds of millions of images that were classified and labeled by people just like you and me. So over time, Clip learned what different pieces of text mean and how they relate to images. This created a set of classifiers for images, but the key thing of the images is that they weren't limited to 100 or 1,000 images. They were really applied to millions of images really from across the web. And this really opened up a whole spectrum of things because you could really ask the system for anything. Now. Dolly 2 is a huge advance from the original Dolly, and you can bet that they've increased the size of the parameters from billions to some number they haven't released that's probably significantly more. The output and the quality of the work is truly breathtaking, and it's amazing how far the technology has come in just one year. The original Dolly paper let you experiment with some of the examples of how you could customize the text from changing a cougar, sitting in a forest, at twilight and again this was the work from one year ago and today the technology for dolly 2 has gone leaps and bounds above this and even from a year ago is producing pretty incredible results i think this ai is pushing into a realm that frankly i didn't think computers would be able to get to and that's really creativity it really looks creative it looks amazing and it's the type of thing that really changes our perception of how humans and computers can interact with one another to produce things that are truly novel, unique, and exciting. I'm Greg Grays. I talk about entrepreneurship, technology, and design. I hope I'll catch you on the next one.